10 Reasons Your Crush Keeps You in the Friend Zone Will your crush move from buddy to romance? Picture yourself at the pool's edge on a scorching summer afternoon. You cautiously lower your big toe into the refreshing water, assessing its warmth, unsure if you should take the plunge or remain on the poolside. This sensation mirrors the uncertainty that often comes with navigating your feelings for a crush. You're attempting to measure their level of interest, yearning for something beyond friendship while harboring reservations about diving into the uncharted waters of romance. This intricate interplay of emotions can frequently lead you to a destination commonly known as the friend zone. What is the friend zone? The phrase friend zone denotes a scenario in which one individual within a friendship yearns for a romantic or intimate connection, while the other does not share those sentiments. It's characterized by an unreciprocated romantic interest, resulting in the establishment of a platonic relationship rather than a romantic one. The person experiencing unrequited feelings is described as being in the friend zone, a situation that can pose difficulties in terms of negotiation and proving challenging to break free from. 10 Reasons Why You're Still in the Friend Zone Here are 10 reasons your crush keeps you could be stuck in the friend zone. 1. Your crush misreads you because of a lack of clear intentions. Your crush might not be cognizant of your romantic inclinations due to the absence of clear communication on your part. While it's tempting to believe that subtle hints will suffice, this assumption doesn't always hold true. Without explicit expression of your feelings, your actions may be interpreted as friendly gestures rather than romantic advances. Striking a balance is crucial, communicate your intentions clearly, but do so without applying undue pressure on the other person. Let's take John and Sarah, for instance. They've maintained a close friendship since their high school days. John has developed affection for Sarah but has never openly conveyed his feelings. He often compliments her and dedicates ample time to her, with the hope that she'll discern his emotions. However, Sarah perceives these actions as friendly and remains unaware of John's underlying romantic aspirations. How to fix it? Articulate your emotions with clarity and respect. Communicate to the individual that you hold your friendship in high regard but have grown to experience more profound sentiments for them. Anticipate any type of response and honor their feelings in return. 2. You are in the friend zone due to a fear of rejection. The reason you might find yourself confined to the friend zone could be the apprehension of disclosing your emotions and confronting the possibility of rejection. This apprehension can act as a barrier, preventing you from taking any decisive action and ultimately trapping you within the confines of the friend zone. Keep in mind that acknowledging and moving forward is a preferable course of action compared to lingering in a state of uncertainty. Take, for example, Emma, who has harbored affection for her colleague, Alex, for an extended period. She frequently daydreams about a potential romantic relationship with Alex. Nevertheless, the fear of potential rejection and the potential awkwardness it could create in their workplace deter her from confessing her feelings, thus leaving her mired in the friend zone. How to fix it? Conquer your fear by acknowledging that rejection is a natural aspect of life and certainly not the conclusion of everything. Go ahead and communicate your emotions, and commend yourself for having the courage to take that chance, irrespective of the final outcome. 3. You stay in the friend zone because of over-availability. Consistently being accessible may inadvertently portray you as less intriguing and more akin to a reliable friend. While offering support is commendable, constantly being readily available can erode any sense of mystery or allure. It's essential to maintain your individual life and interests beyond your affection for your crush. Consider the case of Mike, who unfailingly assists his crush, Taylor, whenever she calls on him. He readily drops everything to be of aid, hoping that his unwavering dedication will eventually kindle romantic feelings in her. Paradoxically, Taylor begins to perceive Mike primarily as a steadfast friend, rather than considering him a potential romantic partner. In this instance, Mike's continuous availability has counterproductively left no space for intrigue. 
How to fix it? Strive to strike a harmonious equilibrium between offering support and nurturing your own independent life and interests. Continuously being at someone's disposal can diminish the sense of intrigue, which is why it's crucial to engage in separate activities and cultivate personal hobbies. 4. Your crush sees your lack of self-confidence. When self-confidence is lacking, your crush may not perceive you as a prospective romantic partner. Confidence exudes attractiveness, and if you don't have faith in yourself, it can be difficult for others to recognize your inherent worth. Focus on bolstering your self-esteem and highlighting your positive attributes. Consider the case of Sophie, who harbors feelings for her friend, Ethan. Regrettably, Sophie grapples with self-confidence issues that prevent her from openly expressing her affections. She frequently diminishes her own accomplishments and qualities. This self-deprecating attitude makes it challenging for Ethan to view her as a potential romantic companion. Sophie's deficiency in self-confidence keeps her firmly within the friend zone. How to fix it? Invest your efforts in enhancing your self-esteem by concentrating on your strengths and accomplishments. As your confidence grows, you'll find it easier to articulate your emotions and demonstrate why you're a highly promising prospective partner. 5. Your crush has no physical attraction. Physical attraction holds considerable sway in the realm of romantic relationships. Its absence can potentially result in being relegated to the friend zone. However, it's important to note that this doesn't necessitate a transformation of your appearance. Instead, concentrate on presenting your best self and fostering a deep emotional connection. Consider the case of James and Olivia, longtime friends. James has developed romantic feelings for Olivia, yet she doesn't experience a physical attraction. Despite their profound emotional connection, the absence of this physical spark causes Olivia to perceive James as a friend rather than a potential romantic partner. How to fix it? While you may not have direct influence over physical attraction, you do have the ability to nurture a more profound emotional connection. A robust emotional bond occasionally paves the way for the development of a romantic relationship. 6. You stay in the friend zone because of the comfortable friendship. Becoming excessively comfortable with each other can potentially result in a diminishment of excitement and the absence of romantic tension. If your interactions resemble those of longtime friends, the initial spark may gradually dissipate. It's essential to introduce novelty and exhilaration into your connection and to be unafraid of venturing beyond the confines of your comfort zone. Consider Liam and Rachel, who have been acquainted since their childhood. Their relationship has become so comfortable that it no longer carries the thrill and romantic tension typically associated with such relationships. This excessive comfort has shifted their connection from a romantic one to a more platonic dynamic. How to fix it? Inject fresh elements into your relationship to infuse it with excitement. This could encompass a range of activities, from organizing spontaneous outings to finding novel ways to express your emotions. 7. You and your crush have an absence of flirting. Flirting serves as a means to convey romantic interest, and the absence of it might lead your crush to perceive you solely as a friend. Flirting fosters a playful ambience and can effectively convey your romantic intentions. It's crucial, though, to approach flirting with respect and sensitivity. For instance, consider Anna and Ben, who frequently spend time together. However, their interactions are characterized more by friendliness than flirtation. Although Anna holds romantic feelings for Ben, her absence of flirtatious behavior causes him to regard her as a friend rather than a potential romantic companion. How to fix it? Integrate subtle and respectful flirting into your interactions. This lighthearted form of flirtation can effectively communicate your romantic intentions and potentially shift the dynamics of your relationship. Always maintain respect and promptly cease if your crush does not respond positively or reciprocate. 8. You treat your crush like a friend. Treating your crush in the same manner as your other friends can potentially obscure your image as a potential romantic partner. 
This doesn't imply that you should resort to insincerity or manipulation, instead, contemplate introducing a touch of romantic nuance into your interactions. For instance, take Tom, who interacts with his crush, Emily, in a manner identical to how he treats his other friends. His consistent behavior around her causes Emily to perceive him primarily as a friend rather than considering him a potential romantic prospect. How to fix it? Distinguish your conduct when you're with your crush compared to your interactions with other friends. This doesn't entail insincerity or manipulation but rather involves contemplating the incorporation of a subtle romantic touch into your exchanges. 9. They keep you in the friend zone because they're not ready for a relationship. Your crush might not be prepared for a relationship, resulting in them maintaining your friendship instead. This could be attributed to personal challenges, past encounters, or external factors beyond your influence. It's vital to honor their choice and provide the necessary space they require. Consider Lucy and Noah as an example. Lucy holds affection for her friend, Noah. However, Noah has recently endured a challenging breakup and isn't in a position to enter a new relationship. Despite Lucy's romantic sentiments, Noah opts to maintain their friendship while addressing his personal matters. How to fix it? When the individual isn't prepared for a relationship, it's crucial to honor their choice and allow them the necessary breathing room. Maintain your role as a supportive friend and refrain from applying undue pressure. When they reach a point where they're ready to pursue love once more, they may perceive you in a different perspective. 10. You and your crush don't feel the same way. At times, emotions simply don't align, and there's little one can do to change that fact. It can be a bitter pill to swallow, but upholding respect for their sentiments is paramount. Keep in mind that everyone has the freedom to choose their romantic partner. It's more constructive to seek someone who reciprocates your affections than to dwell on unrequited feelings. Take, for instance, Jake, who finds himself ensnared in the friend zone with his crush, Mia. He has made numerous attempts to capture her heart, but Mia views Jake as a valuable friend without sharing the same romantic sentiments. Jake must come to grips with this reality and demonstrate respect for Mia's feelings. How to fix it? When there is no mutual reciprocity of feelings, it remains essential to honor their emotions. It's more productive to seek someone who shares your affections than to languish over unrequited love. Keep in mind that everyone possesses the prerogative to choose their preferred romantic partner. Final thoughts on moving from friend zone into a new love. Navigating the friend zone, with your crush opting to keep things platonic, can indeed present challenges and frustrations. Nevertheless, it's imperative to bear in mind that everyone is entitled to their emotions, and occasionally, a romantic connection might not align. Demonstrating respect for your crush's sentiments and choices remains vital, even when they don't align with your desires. Ultimately, an authentic friendship can be equally valuable and satisfying as a romantic relationship. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new facts. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.